after Monokuma and the Monocubs left. An alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine, the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym, which meant everyone else had received a monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the Blacken is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the Blacken is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. If the Blacken survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until two remaining students, uh, two surviving students remain. Gosh. That time is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence toward Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the Exazoles. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any time. Gotta be- I will never- I will never participate in a killing game! <laughs> the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile School Regulations, so these are the rules. Wow. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But, but the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! That's not the problem! Listen. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, what does this six regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? That's... Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people? I see, I see! You're so smart, Su Shuichi. Always messing around. Quit screwing around. Killing games? School regulations? Don't screw around! To heck with that crap, who'd go along with something like that? Ka Ka Kaito raises the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Whoa, hey now, don't do that! School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then the Axis will dispose of you. I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Forget about him. Just means one less dumbass for the whole world to deal with. Who are you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath and shouted with all my might. Jeez. Oh, Quit fighting already. Whoa. Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves right now. We need to work together. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military polonaise would definitely help us unite right. us. Yeah, I could get behind some bolognese, and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. Oh, it's bolognese! I agree with Kaede too, we must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. Yeah. Wow, you're shaking so much. Even I can't handle these intense vibrations. And trust me, I've got loads of experience. Hey. Anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? But we looked all over that wall and there wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Now wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how did we get inside these walls in the first place? Good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. Oh, right. Now let's show them that we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other. We're gonna work together, okay? Um. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary, you made your case with such sucks and aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. Jeez. I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Come on, come on. Let's split up and try and find the exit. Ooh. Atua, give us strength. Oh, I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey. 
Oh, wait! What is it? We were just about to get started. Maybe it not matter much, but... Gonta find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. A manhole? Gonta peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe an exit. But... Sorry, it's probably not so simple. You gotta mention important stuff like that much faster! Gonta peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe an exit. Wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. Okay, everyone follow Gonta. With Gonta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. Wow, impressive. Kaede, that was pretty cool back there. What was? Should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, is all. Sure. So it just comes naturally to you, then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Huh? That means... I was just thinking, what you said back there would have pissed off whoever is running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. Sure. They're going to come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Perhaps it's a warning? That's what I think anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like no. this. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? Yeah. Rantaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that man. Okay. Ah, you're right. Okay. We probably shouldn't waste our time thinking about things like that. Yeah, let's catch up with the others. Can I like... Is there like anything that I can examine before I go? Wow, nothing. This gym's boring. So where do we have to go? We have to just go outside? That's what it appears to be. Alright, so... You know, the rules are pretty set in stone for us. You know, they're very straightforward. You know, it's, it's just like, it's the same rules as in the first two games. But uh, yeah, this game is gonna be kind of brutal. I can foresee it happening. And that's not going to be something that I'm looking forward to, maybe. All right, let's get out of here. To a place that looks like a manhole? Um... What is this guy doing? Alright. So, where do we go? Do we go- wait, could I have always went over here? Wait, this is new. I couldn't have went here earlier. What is what is going on over here? Backyard? I can go to the backyard? Then looks like we're all here. So where's this manhole? Over there in grass. Where? I don't see it. <laughs> Look at all these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Please stop! Why are you telling me that? Furthermore, I would prefer you address me as Kibo. But, but you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? Well, I can do all sorts of things just as well as any person. <laughs> as well as any person, but you're not a person! Robophobic. That's discrimination. Robophobic discrimination. We should investigate the manhole right away. If it is an exit, it's only a matter of time until Monokuma comes for us. Probably true. What's wrong? Now's not the time to be shouting and celebrating. Even if this really is the exit, it's all over if, Mo if Monokuma catches us. That's right. I agree, we need to be quick about this. I'm, except I'm taking my time because I want to see what everybody has to say. In any event. 
The ground opens up before us, as though inviting us downward. Once we are swallowed by darkness, will we be able to return to the light? Okay, and then how about you? Quit wasting my time, you kooky bitch. Wow. Wow, it's like a super secret entrance. I'm so excited. Atsuwa is just as excited as I am. I know because he told me. You're really obsessed with this Atsuwa. Whoever this may be. Though it's hidden by grass, there's definitely a manhole over here, over there. Typical degenerate male. You peeping toms love to find things you weren't meant to see. So a manhole was hidden in a place like this, huh? Kaito well, you can't hide stuff from the eyes of Kaito Momoda, luminary of the stars. But Gonta found it. <laughs> True. There's a monitor here, too. That aside, this is a rather remote location to install a communication device. It's a pointless expedenture, wouldn't you agree? And it does remind me, there are monitors everywhere. Every single place. Is it really that necessary? Down the manhole, huh? Do you think there are creepy creatures down there? What's there to be afraid of? Even if the rats are as big as cats, Himiko can just blast them away with her magic. That's not possible. If I use my magic down there, the entire passage might explode. Oh, your magic is so powerful! Well then, though I may be unworthy, I will protect you, Himiko. I'll leave it to you. What's wrong? Hurry up, don't you want to escape from here? Yes. Sure, pretty sure everybody does. No, I didn't want to... Oh my god. What purpose does this facility serve? One would assume that all this greenery would interfere with the machinery. Does this mean preparations were not completed before we arrived? That's a good point right there. Okay, how about Sumi? I skipped over Sumi earlier. He was like behind a bunch of people. We need to be careful or those monsters might appear again. Right. Are you feeling down? Do you want some magical powder to cheer you up? Mm. It's not a dangerous kind of powder, is it? Okay, and then finally, Shuichi. Well, technically, um. uh, Gonsa. So there's even grass out here. Ah, oh, be careful of the roots, everybody. Alright, alright, what does Gonsa have to say? What's wrong? Manhole and grass over there. But where specifically? Wait, did I see it? Oh, right there. Okay. Okay. Let me, uh... There's a, a left and a right. Can I just... Can I go in the doors? I, I just have to just... It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. An important hole near some bush? Sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? This manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. Kiba places hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength, he... My apologies. How embarrassing, it won't even budge. A robot's not even strong enough to move it? Don't worry, my physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. That's freaking pathetic. The professor did not want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Now, I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Oh, allow, then allow Gonta. Gonta lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up the cover too. Wow, it was so easy. So easily? His strength must be due to my magic. Yep. There's no mistaking it. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko! What should Gonta do with cover now? Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude to litter. But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole of cover, Gonta begrudgingly toss it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. <laughs> what wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Gonta never do that? How ungentlemanly. Gonta never do that. Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. 
But Gaunt's is so much more reliable than some bean counting robot. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up from it. This place is kind of creepy. We're really going in here? I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. Then go and protect men, folk. Awfully quiet. Where are Monokuma and the Monocubs? I was certain they would show up at some point. Crush us like rotten gnats. They probably haven't noticed yet. Then let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. Oh gosh. Once we all had climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. Mm -hmm.